Okay, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this one's a really exciting one for me. We're gonna have our first look at the Cobra Aerojet driver. So um, a little while ago, my, my Cobra rep came out and was good enough to show us some of the new products. And I really, really liked it, really enjoyed how it felt and how it went. But, um, you know, everything was kind of pretty hush-hush back then. We couldn't really talk too much about it. So all the new gears arrived, the new fitting gears arrived, the new stocks arrived. So I suppose, um, you know, disclosure, yes, I do stock and sell Aerojet. Um, am I biased? Maybe. Um, I like to think I'm not. But, yes, we do have it in stock and we do sell it. So uh, this is as independent as I can be. Um, so we'll go, through the, we'll go through the models. There's three models here. And I want to talk about the differences between the three models. I want to talk about the differences between the new model and the LTDX first. So we have over here is the new LS. They got three models. There's an LS model, right, which will have weights. Uh, here and here, it's more of a fade bias. It's a low spin head. You know, we have a three gram and a 12 gram here. So then they have the standard model, which again, it, it's actually a low spin head. It's not a high spinning head, that's for sure. It's only got a 12 gram weight at the back. Okay, so you see the difference there between the LS and the Aerojet. And then we go along, and I wish I could hold on to three, but I've only got two hands. This is the Max. So the Max is more draw bias. It's got a little bit more spin and it's got weights here and here, 12 and 3, which again, you could, you could switch around if need be. So, so there we have the three models here, here, here. Low spinning weight at the front, standard weight at the back for a little bit higher launch. And then Max with weight at the back and the heel for a little bit more draw bias. So basically, basically there's something for everyone in there. Um, whether you want, you know, low spinning and fade bias or, you know, fairly uh, a little bit more launch or a little bit more hook, there's something in there for everyone. So we've got them in um, nines and ten and a halfs. So and what I've done today, as you know, or may not know, for those that don't watch, I use the LTDX LS 9 degree, and it's probably too low on the spin, to be fair. So um, I'm thinking about going to 10.5 in the Aerojet when I've done a little bit more testing. Today I'm going to test 10.5s across the board, and We'll just, yeah, we'll leave it at that for now as far as my fitting goes. But, but today we're gonna to look at the 10 and a half heads. Now, what, what do I like about the new model? So if I get the old model, I'm just gonna put them down here in front so you, or behind so you can see. But the other thing you'll, you, you may or may not have noticed, here's the LTDX. Uh, that's the max. Here's the LTDX. So similar, well, the same sort of weight distributions as far as, you know, weight in the front for the LS, in the back for the standard, and then in the, in the back and the heel for the max. Now they get more elongated as they go along. So, so this is the most compact design. These are the most compact. We get a little bit more elongated here and even more so on the max. Now there's not huge sweeping differences from the bottom. Yes, we got some colouring differences. Um, but the major differences for me, the major things, is when we look at the old face, the old hot face, had that CNC milled face, we no longer have it. So they've switched out to a more I mean, what's normal? I suppose more accustomed look. They've gotten rid of the CNC milled face. The other little differences you'll notice on here, when we're talking, these are the two LS heads. We've gone to full, um, it's no longer a matte carbon, you see. We've got a bit more shiny carbon on this one. 
No more of these turbulators or whatever you'd like to call those. They no longer exist. And then this top line, this is a little broader here on the older model. This is a little narrower. I kind of like the narrowness. Very similar shapes. Um, you know, a lot of similarities. Obviously, you know, you're not going to reinvent the, the, the wheel with new models. But I do like the look of the new one. Uh, some people, you know, might have liked, liked, a, bleh, bleh, might have liked a matte finish. But, um, you know, this is a more shiny finish. I like the little bit, I like the little bit of narrowness here. I think that looks really smart. And then obviously red, white, and blue. I mean, I don't, I don't know about that. All my guys out in the US, I love that, right? Um, I think it looks cool. I like it. It's not too overstated. So I'm going to hit some shots with uh, all three heads and see how they go. Okay, so this could be a first for SGT as well. We're going to test with standard shafts today, with a standard shaft. So they offer um, Gen 4 Black Hazardous as a standard shaft. They also offer, I'm not, I'll probably get this pronunciation wrong. I call it Kali. Could be Kali. -i. I'm not sure. Really cool looking shaft, to be fair. Great graphic. Kali white, Kali blue. Now, I did have a quick read on the website. I'm not sure if it's correct. Um, my understanding is Kali white is low spin, Kali blue is mid. And then hazardous. Uh, Gen 4 black is, is low as well, but I hit a few balls earlier with uh, all of them and I kind of liked, I suppose out of the, the bunch, I, I like the hazardous black Gen 4 the most. Just a personal thing, the blue felt a little bit soft, very smooth, but a bit soft. And then the white had a nice feel again, but I just, I like this one the most. So I thought, let's run today's test with hazardous uh, black Gen 4. Okay, so I'm going to hit the LS um, first at 10 and a half. I'll just try the 10 and a half heads. I'm a bit scared of the nine, to be honest. Now, the cool thing worth noting, and I love this about this line. I absolutely love it. They're all the same head weight. Every model is around the 195 gram mark. So what's a frustration is, is when you go from, with some companies, you know, the max models are a bit lighter and the low spinning models are heavier. These are all the same. So I think that's awesome. You can get a shaft that you like, swap heads, and you're not constantly worried about swing weights. So, um, yeah, I weighed all the heads. They were, they were within one gram of each other at around the 195 mark. So I'm going to go hazardous. I'm going to use Pro V1 today, black number, and just see what I can get out of this LS head. It's not a bad start. No real warm-up. Like I say, this is not, look, it's not the shaft that I would use. Uh, where are we at? 101. That's a bit slow for the old man to start with. A little bit low heel. Oh, I think that's going to go. Look at that thing go. That's the old floater. Yeah. I mean, you saw my, well, I mean, I, I shouldn't assume you watch all of my videos, but um, my video with uh, my LTDX LS and my Ventus Red, you know, I was able to knock it onto that green. So that's a, you know, that's a good sign. You can see that spin, 1741, it's low. I hammered that too. It's got a little, little push. Push. Um, so, you know, pretty good. Yeah, three mil toe. Still only at a hundred, old man, come on. Let's get a bit of movement here. Just, it's late in the day, Friday afternoon. Friday, yeah. I feel like that was user error. Didn't square it up. Kutsky. Don't blame the club, blame me for that one. So then spin will spike, right? 
uh, with a big open face, 3.4 open, no good. That might be uh, probably, you know, realistically probably should delete that. And that's a hook. It's going to be a low spinning hook. So obviously I'm in, you know, standard shaft here, which is not what I usually go to. Um, you know, maybe a little bit of right and left is, is because of that too, but let's hit one more. Like I said, this was the nicest feeling. This doesn't feel too bad, this shaft, to be fair. That felt good, but I think it's a little open. Yeah. So anyway, there's the... Um, probably haven't done this <clears throat> too great a justice with those, with those two out to the right. See if I can get one more you know, of those knucklers, that low spinning. <clears throat> I do have it teed up pretty high today. <laughs> I got it pegged up, 10 and a half head, just to try and avoid really low numbers. <laughs> Big miss hit. Put that down to me. It's a shocker. It's out of the neck minute. It's not a bad miss. But look at that, 40 mil low heel. That's a little vom, really. <laughs> Hammered. That's on the green, it has to be. I hit that so good. Come on, ball, there you go. Woo, long. Can I get past 284? No, Ventus Red reigns supreme. So, but there you go, 2057 with 13.7 launch angle. There's a couple of good shots in that. Okay, I got uh, the jet, Aerojet standard head, set it neutral, 10 and a half. I like the look of it, I like the shape. It's a little bigger, a little deeper. So that felt good, but I just know. Um, I just, I want to see what I can get out of it. I, I know it's going to be, you know, ball in the wrong spot. Silly, silly. I know it's going to be, um, you know, too much spin in the 10 and a half for me. But I just want to go 10, 5, 10, 5, 10, 5 and see what happens, right? It feels, it feels like this feels a little softer off the face. Um, but, you know, soft is generally slow, as a general rule. You know, this is uh, 3,000 spin. Put him in the same spot. And this, this certainly wouldn't be my fit, that's for sure. You know, I can feel it. Um, I can feel that extra spin. You know, is the other one too low? And this one too high. Um, well, I've, I've hit the same shot, haven't I? Like, what about that for consistency? So there's something to be said about when you have too much spin, um, you, can, you can hit them in the same spot, that's for sure. Right, and if you want to hit it, if I want to hit it 240 down the middle all day, here's my go-to, right? Just give me this, but I could probably hit three wood nearly that far. Not, not quite, but I'm just trying to see if I can get one to knuckle. Um, you know, th this feels great. Like I love the feel of this. It's, it's not, it's not my fit. That's all. It's going to be plenty of people's fits. That's for sure. Now that is better, like I try to get forward a bit more, try to keep that flight down. It's a little bit different swing. To just try and, you know, bring that spin down. There we go, two, three, you know, like. 
hit that out of screws. So, you know, how much of this is, is me, you know, with the LS trying to back up and hit in the air, and then this one I move forward, better swing. Pretty good shot, to be fair. That's a nice shot. I'll try to do that again. So that's me trying to bring it down the flight. Which I've done a little bit. And so the spin will come down a little bit. There's still a little miss hit, but beautiful driver. Loving this. I'll go one more and bring the flight down. That's down. That could go left. That's going to be like a no spinner. That's the knuckler. And that's just, you know, realistically just having a bit of fun with it. But you can see how, you know, that's still, that was only 1600 spin. So as an average, certainly spinning more, I'd say, but I'll, uh, I'll get out the max. All right, I got max, 10.5, same again, 195 gram head, beautiful. As it is Gen 4 Black. Uh, she's starting to look big. This is starting to look uh, pretty large. I don't mind that. I'm not against it. It's the same weight, which is great. That I love, love, love. I've already said that before, but whatever. Okay, now this is gonna wanna hook. So I don't know whether I should just let it hook or we'll see. Just let it do its thing. Let it go, let it go. My kids sing that all the time. Uh, Frozen. Nobody likes Frozen, this is a golf video. So, I mean, there you go, like it, it, it did its hook. And when I get myself forward and don't try and scoop a rama it, uh, that's gonna bring that spin number right down. So, that was pretty cool. I'm gonna to have to adjust for that butt to hit it straight. Okay, so let's make the adjustment. And then the adjustment was poor. And then it goes probably spinachy and right and short. Probably hit it out of the neck. Yeah, terrible. Horrible. So that's um User error right there. Let's go again. Let's give the max, a bit of max power. That's a bit of max on that. It, it, it wants to hook, but hey, that's a great thing. I mean, you need, we need some clubs that can hook. We don't want everything fade by us. We don't want, you know, all golfers are different. Give them the same things, it gets a bit boring. And so that hook in itself is, is, you know, dropping spin, that's for sure. Um, let's go again, I want to try and hit it a bit straighter without miss it, hitting it. No, and I've just mishit it. So I'm, I'm fighting this one a little bit, you know, and if I just do my thing, um, you know, it's, it's gonna draw and probably a little overdraw to be fair. So, let's go again. You know, this is, this is great for, if you've got, you got a little bit of slice going on, a little bit of vanilla, caramel, slice, chocolate slice, whatever slice you got, this could be the answer for you. <laughs> Boom, hammered. It wants to go left. So that's great. Does what they say it's going to do. They say it's gonna go left, she goes left. Happy days. All right, so this is a really, really cool graphic. I love this graphic. Um, and it, it gives a, it paints a pretty clear picture about what's gonna happen with these drivers. So we've got the LS at the highest ball speed, but that's kind of expected because it's got the lowest spin. Um, and, and to be fair, I, I probably centered it the best, okay? The jet I hit pretty close, but the max I hit low. Now that, that low is probably, it's certainly user error, right? That's me just, you know, not swinging very well, trying to avoid it going left. But if we go back to that ball data, cause I'm, I'm at about 102 today. 
Go back to that ball data, right? And you can see the Max LS wants to go a bit more to the right. It's got more right bias, but certainly the carry was 244, which is nice for me. With, with, a, with a standard shaft, that's a good carry. Uh, you saw one or two went on that green. The jet, the, the aero jet, the standard model was, was 10 meters behind it, but was a little straighter, a little bit more consistent. It was really nice, but probably a little high on the spin for me at 26. And then the Max, well, you know, similar ball speed, similar launch, because I, I use 10 half in all of them. Um, but, but uh, you know, 2.7, a little bit more spin, and that's even, um, that's probably a little bit flattering because I did hit it left. You can see it goes left. So, you know, these drivers do exactly what they say. There's no, there's no gimmick on this. So it's just one guy, me, just hitting balls with the same shaft. Whether or not it's my, the right shaft for me, that's a different story. But they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Great look, great feel. Happy days, really. Okay, so you've seen uh, a quick performance of how a 10 and a half head would go for me with a standard shaft. Now, I'm gonna get a few questions about this. Uh, is this going to be the fit for me? Uh, probably not. Um, you know, I'm, I am going, after what I've seen already, I'm gonna test both LS heads and I'm also gonna test the nine degree Aerojet. Uh, particularly with my Ventus Red and, and see how they go. That's going to be in another video, looking at some aftermarket options. But as far as the standard options go, uh, that's a brief overview of, of what to expect. We might even do a, a video on those standard options as well. So thanks again for tuning in and we'll catch you next time.